An emergency meeting on Ebola. The outbreak in West Africa has now killed more than 467 people, says the World Health Organization. Representatives from 11 African countries and dozens of international organizations are meeting in Ghana to discuss a coordinated response. WHO is urging health authorities to engage community, religious and opinion leaders to contain the spread. In other words, to quote, leave no stone unturned. United Nations agencies and partners are helping nearly half a million people along the Pakistan-Afghan border. Nearly three quarters of them are women and children. They are fleeing a full-scale Pakistani offensive against armed insurgents in the North Waziristan Agency tribal areas. In Iraq, more than 2,400 people were killed in fighting last month with Islamic insurgents. Most of them are civilians. This according to human rights teams in the UN mission in Iraq. More than 2 million people are now displaced. UN humanitarian agencies are warning that women and children are at an additional risk for sexual violence. Senior UN officials are calling on politicians to form a new government which could unite the country. The top United Nations envoy in South Sudan is preparing to complete her tenure. Hilda Johnson steps down next week. She leaves as South Sudan is struggling to emerge from a political crisis that uprooted some one and a half million people and sent nearly 100,000 fleeing to UN mission bases across the country. In her last and most personal interview with the UN News Center, Hilda Johnson recalls her proudest moment on the job. When thousands of people during the night of 15, 16 December flocked to our gates, um, in the morning, uh, we took the decision, and I took the decision, to open them and to give shelter and protection uh, for civilians that were fleeing for their lives. There will be incredible challenges going forward with this decision, but it was the right one. It remains the right one, and we need to have the right response. And Secretary General Ban Ki-moon adopts a six-month-old lion cub in Nairobi National Park. He named her Tumaini, which means hope in Kiswahili, to symbolize his hope for a sustainable future in which, quote, people live harmoniously with nature. Mr. Ban adopted the cub after taking part in high-level talks at the new UN Environment Assembly.